For all the best CAD adjuster gear you need right now, go to adjustersupply.com. In this video, we're gonna walk through the features of the Bully Bag Ultra Pouch with Paddle Clip, the things that set this tool bag apart from other options, and I'm gonna show you how to load it up, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. And stay with me until the end of this video where I'll be giving away this Bully Bag Ultra Pouch. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV, and for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as an independent adjuster, subscribe now. Click on the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. Want to know how you can survive your first ever storm deployment? Check out the How to Survive Your First Storm Deployment webinar. Register for free at adjustertv.com slash thrive. And thanks to Brandon from Facebook who says, just wanted to say that you helped me a lot while getting licensed and I'm glad to have been in contact with you over the last year. Thanks, man. Dude, you're welcome. Thanks for watching, Brandon. Okay, this thing's got 12 total chambers with heavy duty zippers and Velcro. This pouch looks like it's built to last. Okay, let's dig through this thing. So we have a main compartment here, along with an inner compartment, that you could probably put things that you don't wanna get dirty inside of. And then on the front, another Velcroed, uh, sort of like elastic banded pocket on the front. And then you've got places for uh, pens and pencils that you can slide them right down there, which is awesome because usually, you know, I'm, I'm usually slipping those things onto my, uh, what you call it, my lanyard for my ID badge. We have these two side, pa uh, two side pouches. I mean, you can put literally all kinds of things in here, right? The greatest thing about this, aside from the fact that you can zip this thing closed, is this paddle on the back, which will allow you to slide it inside your pants, or it would go inside your pants, not inside your belt loop, and then that way you've just it just comes right in and out. And if you if you feel more comfortable with it up here on the front, so you can grab stuff, uh, you can just move it around wherever you want to, around on the back if you're you know you're in a tight space or whatever, and you just need to occasionally grab back here pretty slick so um, it also has a clip on here for your tape measure so the clip that's on the back side of your tape measure uh, this guy will go right there just like that so that there's tape measure right so grab it and go um, it has a lot of these hooks and things on it uh, for hanging clipboards like this, you can hang those right off of these hooks. I'm gonna go ahead and load this up with a few things here. It's kind of the way I run claims, usually it's hail claims, so I'm gonna have my gloves, which I'll probably stick, I'm gonna stick those someplace that it's easy to get to, so I'll probably just stick them in the side there. I'm probably gonna be sticking a lot of things in this main pouch. Got my laser, which is my old school Hilti laser, and I'm gonna wanna have that up here probably where it's easier to get to on interior claims. One of the problems I have with these other pouches is that when these are on your belt and you get, like I keep a lot, sometimes I keep things just on my belt, just only these things. Um, when you get back in the car or the truck, it'll push the buttons on it. So it'll turn the power on, on your laser. And then the battery runs down because you keep, every time you, you're driving along, every time you, you kind of nudge it into the, the seat belt or whatever, it turns on and it runs the battery down. So having it here on the side, out of the way, you know, and I'm not probably not gonna wear this when I get into the vehicle. I'm gonna take it off and toss it in the back seat or toss it in the floor of the passenger seat. Obviously we got 100 foot tape. We're gonna have some soapstone. You know, I guess you could probably use this pouch here, in the, this little inside pouch for chalk and things like that so that the rest of your stuff doesn't get covered in chalk because then that keeps, you from having like pink and purple and white gloves and getting that stuff all over everything and keeping the rest of your gear from getting dirty. Really, I think one of the main benefits of having a bag like this is that if you're running kind of like run and gun, um, you don't need to carry a whole lot of gear with you. You just need the essentials. You know, you need your shingle gauge, you need your pitch gauge, 
you know, you could probably get a pair of uh, tin snips in here for cutting a piece of siding off to send out the ITEL. You know, you got your tape measure right there, right on just to grab super easy, which is pretty nice. It's a pretty tight setup for fast claims handling. When, like I said, when you don't need to carry a whole lot of stuff, it's kind of a minimalist claims handling bag, this guy right here. You know, one of the great things about this paddle is that aside from the fact that it slides in and out of here super easy, and you could put it on either side that you want to, because this zips up right here, and because everything is so secure, you know, you can toss this thing on the floor when you, you know, get to the taco joint for lunch. You don't, you don't have to be wearing this in there, right? So I think that this is a adjuster TV must have addition to your field kit. What if you've got, you've got to carry some more gear with you? Like maybe you have to carry an iPad um, and a clipboard and your laser and all these tape measures and everything. Um, and you need something that's, that's, that's not like a kind of a minimalist, like this is kind of like, going to be for most of your claims, but there's going to be like certain situations where you have to carry a lot of stuff with you and you need to have something that's modular um, that can adapt to carrying more stuff. There are other options out there and stay tuned because you're going to check out Custom Tool Belt's brand new Catman 2 belt system in an upcoming video. So you'll be able to get another idea for a, for a different kind of system that's not better or worse, but just different for different kinds of claims handling. So question of the day, how many hail claims did you handle this summer? If your answer is zero, why do you think that is? Sound off in the comments where you're watching this video. And for much more information about crushing it as an independent adjuster, head on over to adjustertv.com. If you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by subscribing to Adjuster TV on YouTube. Wondering what to watch next? There are tons more videos right here on the Adjuster TV YouTube channel and at adjustertv.com. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. To enter the giveaway for this Bully Bag Ultra Pouch, click the link in the description to enter as many times as you like. If you're watching this video on adjustertv.com, click the button where it says enter to win. If there's no button or you don't see the link, that means that somebody already won. And this is years later, years later. It's like a time machine. You're watching this eight years in the future, 28 years in the future. It's possible because things on the internet never go away. I don't even know why. I'm just talking. I'm just, I can't even stop talking right now. I don't even know why. I think that's all I need to do with these things. If not, then I will have to come back out and do some more. All right.